Welcome back to another Hockey Nation video with the hockey coach, Guru Kofrenshi. Today is about the NHL news, a rumor. First of all, guys, the NHL news, we have a couple of signatures around the league. The Seattle Kraken signed two players. First of all, the right defenseman, Will Borgen, drafted by the Buffalo Sabres a couple of years ago. 92 overall pick in 2015. Borgen played 82 games with the Seattle Kraken last year. Three goals, 17 assists for the total of 20 points, signed a contract of two years at $2.7 million AAV. The next player have a new contract with the Seattle Kraken is the veteran of 38 years old, pierre Edouard Belmar, signed only a contract of one year at $775,000 per year. We know Belmar played the last couple of years with the Tampa Bay Lightning, and then prior to that, he was with the Colorado Avalanche. This signature is only to bring more depth inside of the Kraken for the upcoming season. My next player we want to talk about uh, signing a new contract is Andreas Johnson with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Johnson passed most of his time last year in the American Hockey League with the San Jose Sharks at Cliff Farm. San Jose trade for him during the season from the New Jersey Devils. Obviously for him, he never find a way to have a spot with the Sons of Shack last year. Hopefully a new scenery for Johnson will give him a better way to stay in NHL for the upcoming season. Johnson was a draft player in 2015, seven round by the Toronto Maple Leaf. My next player we want to talk about is the goaltender, 78 overall pick in 2021 by the Philadelphia Flyers, Alexei Kolesov. Kolesov signed an entry level contract of three years with the Flyers. Right now, is under contract with the team CSKA and the KHL for the next two years. Finally, my last player we want to talk about new signature is Akiel Thomas for the Los Angeles Kings. Second round pick at 51 overall in 2018. Thomas, 23 years old. Unfortunately for him, never find his full potential or the expectation what the King was thinking when they draft him. Thomas have a couple of great years in the American Hockey League, but he cannot make the jump and stay in NHL. And this is what we have today, guys, for the NHL news for about the signature. Let's move on, guys, for my NHL top free agent in 2023. We want to talk about, guys, the first, the Vladimir Tarasenko. Obviously, for Tarasenko, he thought he's going to be very active at the beginning of the UF free market July 1st, but this is not happening a lot about him. Now, Tarasenko just changed a new agent. is looking out to find a team to play for the upcoming season. We know last year it was straight at the traded line. Major trade between the St. Louis Blues and the New York Rangers. Obviously for him, the Rangers have some kind of difficulties with the salary cap. And that's the reason they are a little bit worried to sign Tarasenko. Two teams are looking possible to add Tarasenko for upcoming season. One of them is the Ottawa Senator. The key on that is to see if they're going to trade the brain cap first. If this is the case, I believe Tarasenko could play for the Senator at least for one year for the upcoming season. The other team are maybe looking for more punch uh, on the offensive side of the game is the Carolina Hurricanes. We know Carolina Hurricanes, they're missing a lot of goal uh, on the offensive side of the game. We know with the departure of Pacioretty, it does give possible a chance for Tarasenko to join the Carolina Hurricane. The last players I want to talk about as a top free agent, guys, is about Matt Dumba. Excellent Minnesota Wall. Of course, for him, a really bad year last year with the Wall. It's maybe not the right time when you want to become UF free to have more money when you have a bad year. Two teams right now are in the race for him is the San Jose Shark and the Arizona Coyotes. Some of you will be shocking to hear the Coyotes. The Coyotes want to bring some kind of experienced players around the rookies they have already inside of the team. They Add Jason Zucker, Budstad in the last couple of days to add possible Tamba. I think that would be good for them. A, a defenseman with some kind of experience in NHL. Let's move on again for my last one is the NHL rumor around the league. Let's talking about Philip Zadina. We know Zadina just got put on the waiver from the Detroit Red Wing. Was a sixth overall pick. Obviously, again. Zadina did not turn around to be a solid player with the Detroit Red when they gave up on him. Now, which team are maybe looking for him, I believe, is the Edmonton Oilers. Why? But we have the connection already. Can Allen pick and draft Zadina 
with the Red Wings. So I feel like it would be a good deal for me. It makes sense to see Zadina with the Oilers. They could offer him maybe a contract one year at $775,000 for Zadina. Now, Zadina can offer all the team initial is service. We'll see if any other team could sign Zadina in the next couple of days. My next player we want to talk about, guys, is the Saga Alex de Brincat. When you think about this, this remind me a lot of the situation with Pierre-Luc Dubois last year. Pierre-Luc Dubois want to get out of the Winnipeg Jets, but unfortunately it was an RFA. Same situation right now with the Ottawa Senator and the Brain Cat. The biggest problem for the Brain Cat guy, he want to testing the UFA. The problem now is the team does not want to give big for the Brain Cat for only one year and rental players. And this was the biggest problem right now for Ottawa Senator with the Brain Cat. And the De Brain Cat is looking to get paid over $9 million. This is another problem from this equation between the Brain Cat and the Ottawa Senator. But yeah, two teams are really looking for him, the Detroit Red Wings. The Red Wings would love to add the Brain Cat. Born in Michigan, he would love to play with the Detroit Red Wings. But again, Iserman doesn't want to pay any player over the service of Larkin at eight eight point seven million dollars, and then the Brain Cat is looking for more. This is another major problem between the Brain Cat, Ottawa Senator, and the Detroit Red Wings. Another team are uh, maybe looking for him, guys, is the New York Islanders. Uh, what we heard is possible they would love to trade Pajot, Wallstrom, uh, picks uh, and return the Brain Cat. They're going to retaining some kind of money for Pajot, well, for what we heard. But this is another rumor we hear in the last couple of days about the Brain Cat and the New York Islanders. My next player I want to talk about, guys, is the, the Flame. Not much happening there again. We're still waiting for Lane Home contract. If he's going to sign or not, his eight years extension contract. No news about anything back then. And possible now the Flame are looking to trade Danev and Zadorov. It makes sense to me the connection between the Toronto Maple Leaf and the Calgary Flame. The ex-GM came for the Calgary Flame to the Toronto Maple Leaf. It could have some kind of traction between both teams for a specific defenseman for the Toronto Maple Leaf. On the flip side, we need to add the Florida Panthers and the conversation because they are really looking for add some kind of defenseman after possible Montour and Eggblad are not going to start in the upcoming season 2023-2024. We have to pay attention. We have to looking about possible some kind of trade between the Flame and the Panthers at some point. My next player guy is about Eric Carlson. The connection is with the Pittsburgh Penguins are really looking to trade for him. The problem right now, the Suns and Sharks want to retain only 30% of the contract and the Pittsburgh requests more. Can the GM of the Suns and Sharks can move all the way to 50 or the 40? But again, the conversation is really between the Pittsburgh Penguins and Suns and Sharks for Eric Carlson. My next, my next player we want to talk about, guys, is Tony D'Angelo. We expect him to be traded back to the Carolina Hurricane the next uh, 24 hours. Uh, and the Flyers going to get in return a prospect player and possible a uh, pick. Uh, D'Angelo played last year with the Flyers uh, and prior that was with the Carolina Hurricane. Uh, finally, my last initial remark, guys, uh, today is about the Hurricanes again. Uh, the Hurricane with the D'Angelo trade, they have eight defensemen play in NHL last year. We know they got uh, our love a couple of days ago as a UFA. They already have Slavin and they already have Burns. Uh, now, they have two players are going to be on the final contract year this year and I believe they could trade one of them or maybe both of them. We'll see what could happen. We know the connection between the Buffalo Sabres and Petsche for the Carolina Hurricane. We know Buffalo would love to add another defenseman and, of course, the Florida Panthers are looking to add another defenseman for upcoming season. So it'll be interesting if the Canada are going to trade one of them. At the end of the day, they have to make some move. They need more money. And if this happening that way, that would possible they could get a trade for the Brain Cat or 
they could add the UFA for one, one year at Tarasenko. And that's complete, guys. All the subject we have on this uh, NHL news and rumor video with the Hockey Coast Gold Conference for the Hockey Nation. But before we leave, guys, we invite you, don't forget, please, to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And of course, remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great blessing day, everybody. Mm-hmm.